never driven before from you from Paris originally. I'm from Paris, yeah. So you never That'll driven three there. Three months ago, and our first time. Yeah, yeah. And you did a little bit on bicycles, I yes. think, and that yeah, was yeah. it. I've really. been using bicycles for quite a while. Yeah. So in three months, this is your progress to up until now. Yep. Welcome back to the crew and we have Ben today. So Ben is going to be doing his mock test at Hendon Driving Test Centre. And Ben has a driving test booked at Hendon Driving Test Centre. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, there you go. So that was the big reveal. Um, we're going to do a mock test and all good marks will be up here in green. All minor marks will be up here in yellow. And all major or serious or dangerous driver faults will be up here in red. Are you ready to get started, Ben? Absolutely, let's do it. Okay, right, what I need you to do is start the engine. I'm gonna ask you a tell me question, and then I'm gonna give you some directions. Then we're gonna do the independent drive. Sounds good. Just for everybody that's watching, the independent drive is longer than normal, so it will be on the whole way round, okay? But it's pretty much exactly like a real test anyways. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so would you be able to tell me how would you check to see that your tires have sufficient tread depth? Um, I would make sure that there is 1.6 millimeters tread depth between the free fourth quarter of the tire, and I would also check the outer circumference. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, so if you want to start the engine now for me, please. And I'd like you to drive out to the left. There is a roundabout here, so I'd like you to take the first exit on the roundabout, turning left. Sounds good. When you're ready. Hello everybody that's new to the channel. My name is Scott, and I'll be doing commentary throughout the video, pointing out some good tips like Ben's just doing his all-round observations now. So that's an excellent tip to start off your driving test. So it's a very good first impression. Also, um, if it's necessary, so we're surrounded by shops here, so obviously really necessary to be checking blind spots. And also for signals as well. So if you feel like the signals would help people out, this is the way that the driving examiners will look at the use of signals signals. Next here after turning left at the roundabout there is a very small sign that's hidden in the green bush just ahead of us before the road comes to a narrow. If you are doing your driving test at Hendon, we're at Hendon Driving Test Centre here, then make sure you look out for these signs. Now we'll need to change the steering a bit because I can't actually see the, the speed that well. Okay, all right so what I'd like to do just slowly come over to the left actually no there's a set of double yellow lines we can stop on those temporarily mm -hmm. so if you just come up to the junction ahead and turn right and then I'll ask you to stop on the double yellow lines okay good. also good practice as you can see Ben doing here is very early on checking the mirrors signaling positioning accordingly slowing down speed and then finally, looking. Now the minimum observations at any junction are right, left, right, as the most dangerous side will be the right side and it will be the vehicle that's closest to us at the junctions. So we must look right, left, right at every junction, minimal. Thank you. Okay, Ben, so what I'd like to do is just go down a bit further towards like where the construction fencing is. Okay. And just pull up anywhere on the left on the double yellow lines for me, please. Just leave enough space that other people could go around, obviously. Down here? Yeah, anywhere along here is fine. Then if you go over that to this thing, Ben. Thank you. Just secure the car so you can adjust your steering. Excellent. You know how to do that? I think so. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, it's Perfect. Okay. Okay, when you're ready, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start your independent drive. So if Gloria's feeling nice today, and it looks like she is, a little bit of sunshine for you, Gloria. Um, we're going to drive on. Um, what I'd like you to do is just demonstrate for me now how you'd wash the front windscreen, please. Lovely. You will arrive at your destination at 11.10am. 
later on the drive, I'll ask you that again as you're showing me question. Okay. We're going to start your independent drive. So when you're ready, I'd like to drive on and follow the sat nav. And if you're not sure, do ask in good time and I can try to help with directions. Okay. Sounds good. When you're ready. After 100 yards, turn left, Aerodrome Road. Okay, today crew, this is where I need your support. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content just like this. If you are getting any value from these videos whatsoever, please do leave a like on these videos as we know the algorithm loves this and it will help more people to see content just like this. Thank you. One of the first junctions that Ben's come to on his mock test, and as you can see, it's quite busy. Stay patient, maybe take a deep breath, and ask yourself, would you walk out? This is the best way of you assessing a safe time to drive out at any junction, and I can't recommend this enough. Some other teaching aids that I can give you for anxiety is take a couple of deep breaths, or even eat bananas before the driving test, as this has been scientifically proven to reduce anxiety. After 200 yards, turn left, A41, Watford Way. Turn left. A couple of good expressions for teaching people when driving is new road, new rules, or new road, new mirrors, or in this situation, new road, new speed limit. So it's quite important to know what's following you, checking the mirrors, and look out for any signs or new rules for the road ahead. Scan long to see any hazards, and if it's safe, unless you're overtaking or turning right, keep to the normal driving position. And when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you'd wash the front windscreen. Thank you very much. Those beautiful blue skies, but I see rain clouds, Ben. Oh. <laughs> Not good for my cameras. We saw a um, Christmas uh, present, though. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. He yeah, is Santa Claus in a kilt. <laughs> What's that? Is he wearing a kilt? I thought you saw that. I did. Ben is currently driving on a 50 mile an hour speed limit road. Were we aware of the speed limit? Are we looking out the window to see any signs showing us the speed limit? As most cars will have technology or a sat nav that displays the speed limit for us. However, this may not be 100% accurate. So it's more important to look out of the windows to see the speed limit signs, which are the official speed limits. Many roads are changing to a 20 mile an hour. So make sure that you know your speed limit on the road that you are currently driving on. Do not allow technology or other road users around you lead you into a false sense of security as many people are going over the 20 mile an hour speed limits and failing the driving tests. Ben's following distance 
needs to be more than a two second gap from the vehicle in front. Although it's traveling slower than the speed limit, Ben must maintain a safe distance. And how you would measure your distance in time is by the vehicle in front reaching a landmark like this big pole and sign coming up and we count one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And if it takes longer than two seconds for us to reach the same landmark, this is a safe distance. Ben is demonstrating now how to safely overtake and does an amazing job. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A1, Watford Way. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Ben demonstrates a very good overtake. Now would you need to do this on your driving test? It does depend how slow the vehicle in front is moving and if it is traveling a lot slower than the speed limit, you may need to overtake. I always check my nose for coffee. I had a whole video where I had a bit of coffee on the end of my nose and the student never told me until All the right. end. Yeah. Very nice of you, Hedger. Thank you. If anybody's watched the channel and knows Hedger, then you've probably seen that video. Now this is Mill Hill Circus roundabout. The road markings are nice and clear and we can see the straight arrow and the lane markings and we are staying well within the lane markings and following the correct lane ahead. The next roundabout will be the Apex Corner roundabout. Now unlike the Mill Hill Circus roundabout, the Apex Corner roundabout is a spiral roundabout. The road markings are fair I would recommend plenty of practice if you are doing a driving test at Hendon Driving Test or Mill Hill Driving Test Centres as they both use almost identical routes including the Mill Hill Circus Roundabout and now the Apex Corner. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A41, Edgware Way. Perfect practice on your roundabouts will keep you in your comfort zone. However, if you don't know the junction, look ahead for signs and road markings. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Normally, we will keep the left lane to continue to follow the road ahead at the roundabout. We are going towards A41 and I believe Ben has noticed the road markings in the left lane. This is a big corner, yeah? Correct, yep, Apex Corner Roundabout. Sometimes the traffic on the left may emerge out beyond the line where they're supposed to give way to the traffic already on the roundabout, as this roundabout is incredibly busy, especially at peak times of the day. Now, if someone edges out in front of you, it may not be safe to go around them. So in that circumstance, you may want to slow and stop to avoid an accident. Ben has done an amazing job at both roundabouts following the road ahead. He is very aware again of the speed limits and using his speed correctly. After half a mile, turn left, Broadfields Avenue. Nearly all driving tests will use the sat-nav and if you are lucky enough to have the sat-nav this can be an excellent way of forward planning as it will tell you and display the junction's distance and direction and if you're looking or listening to the sat-nav this can be extremely useful for forwards planning. After 400 yards, turn left, Broadfields Avenue. Turn left. Take advantage of any red traffic lights to scan the road ahead and make effective observations. This will also help you to see road markings and, 
make any decisions before the light turns green. How are you feeling? Feeling okay? Yeah. Feel the practice that we've done so far, it um, has been very helpful. It's kind of tricky because I think you can easily feel overconfident and like start to be complacent and miss things. So That's a good point, yeah. It's true as well. Yeah, I've seen it before. Complacency is a big issue and it looks like the council haven't put up a speed sign for the new road. So as we turn left into this new road, if we're following the DVSA's advice and going by the last sign that we've seen, then surely this is a 50 mile an hour road. Now a road with no speed signs or speed bumps will generally be a 30 mile an hour road. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A5100, Mail Lane. On a residential road with no speed signs and no speed bumps, I would say this is a 30 mile an hour road. However, keep looking for speed signs. Left on the roundabout and take the first exit. The secret to all roundabouts and junctions is the approaching speed, from running to jogging to walking. And this allows Ben plenty of time to do his observations and act accordingly. He could see there was no vehicles on the right to stop and give priority to and promptly makes progress and continues to turn left at the roundabout safely. The next junction that Ben will be approaching will be a double roundabout system. We will be following the sign towards Mill Hill. However, we have Gloria, our trusty satnav, giving us directions. Now sometimes at double roundabouts, Gloria doesn't do the best job. So I do ask Ben to follow the sign towards Mill Hill on this occasion, as I believe the sign is actually a little bit more informative. Now 20% of driving tests, you will be asked to read and follow signs towards a destination of the examiner's choosing. So make sure on your driving lessons that you do plenty of practice at following signs just as well as the sat-nav because this may come up on your real driving test. Okay, ben, the sat-nav will be a little bit delayed in giving you good direction. So okay. there's a sign for Mill Hill. Okay, I'd like you to try to follow the sign for Mill Hill. It will be a double roundabout system. Sounds good. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A5109, Dean's Lane. At the first roundabout, Ben stops because it's necessary and you can see there's vehicles on the right. Now as we come in between the first towards the second roundabout, Ben does plenty of observations there aren't really any cars on the right at the second roundabout to stop for. So he does slow down, there is a vehicle behind, it's not enough for it to be a serious driver fault, however on this occasion I do mark a minor driver fault for hesitation. right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A5100, Mail Lane. I'm struggling to see any new speed limit signs, yet I'm scanning the road ahead as far as possible to pick up on any speed changes. Because there hasn't been any new signs and we're still on a road with no speed bumps and no speed signs, I'm assuming this is a 30 mile an hour road. Ah, but look here, we have two signs on either side of the road and some painting as in the road markings showing us this is a new speed limit zone. We have just passed through the 20 mile an hour speed limit signs. This is the new enforcement. Now it's important to see those 20 mile an hour signs early and make sure that we address our speed before we reach the new speed limit sign. 
So what I mean is that we slow down early so we don't go through the 20 mile an hour sign too fast and receive a serious driver fault. After 300 yards, turn right, Buns Lane, then turn left. We have now passed into a 30 mile an hour zone. This is not a target, it's a limit and continue to drive safely to the conditions around. So the sat nav again is not the best direction. It is a roundabout, so it's at the roundabout turn right, second exit. On your real driving test, if your sat nav is not giving you clear directions, then your examiner may step in and give you a better set of directions. Scan the road ahead for signs and road markings to make sure that you position correctly. Turn right, Buns Lane, then turn left. Here Ben makes really good effective observations. Not only is he looking to the right, but he keeps scanning the left. Notice he does it again. What he's looking for is a blocker car. This is an advanced method of roundabouts, and if you're not sure what the blocker car is, please tune into my channel and look for driving lessons in the playlist. And I do a very informative video explaining all about what the blocker car is and how this may help you on your real driving test. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Buns Lane. Thank you. So ignore the sat nav for now, just listen to my direction. When it's safe, I'd like you to do a left, and then very shortly after, left again. So it's a little bit like a U-turn. Left, left. Okay. No left. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Take your time, just clear on the left. Left, yeah. I just made a really bad joke. Oh, I see. You said right, I said no. <laughs> All right, just keep following around for me. Turn left, Buns Lane, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, if you just come to a nice slow stop somewhere here, just anywhere, it's fine. <coughs> Thank you. Now what I'd like you to do is a forwards bay park, okay? So in a moment when you're ready, I'd like you to drive forwards. You can choose any bay and I would like you to drive forwards into one of the bays, okay? Awesome. When you're ready. When on the driving test and your examiner asks you to perform your manoeuvre, make sure you make effective observations and try to complete the manoeuvre as soon and safely as possible. However, if you have a vehicle trying to pass or anyone trying to go round, including pedestrians, I would highly recommend that you stay stationary. Stop. Allow these persons or vehicles to pass safely. Do your observations again to make sure it's okay to continue the maneuver. However, if the vehicles do not have space to pass, make sure it's okay to move forwards or backwards, whichever may be the case, to allow room for this vehicle to pass. Stop, allow them to pass once there's enough space, so keep a close eye on them, and then after they've passed, do your observations one more time to make sure there's no other hazards around and then proceed to continue and complete the maneuver. What I'd like you to do next is to reverse out to the left. So when it's safe, if you just reverse so the back of the car goes to the left and then I'll ask you to follow the one-way system and we're just going to leave the car park and continue to follow the sat nav. But for now, if we just focus on leaving the car park and then we'll get back to the sat nav afterwards. Okay. okay. So just reverse to the left, please. Thank you. Now if you just, if it's safe, just follow the one way arrows and it will take us to the exit.
Not the only one doing maneuvers this morning. No, it looks like um, today is a good day for maneuvers. Okay, thank you. Um, it will just go around and towards the exit. Okay, so to exit, we're just going to go beyond the next turn arrow. right, march and close, then at the end of the road, turn okay. left. And just like Gloria is telling us to do, we take this next road on the right. And if you could continue to follow the sat nav, please. So we do this right, and then follow the sat nav for me, please. Excellent, thank you. Turn left, Buns Lane. Then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Would you like to win a free driving test? Well, if you would, all you need to do is be part of the two day pass crew. So subscribe and enter in the comments down below free driving test for your chance to win a free driving test. So sub, comment and good luck. The theme of the mock test video has been undue hesitation. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I most likely am, but you'll see for yourself, the bus here is clearly turning and so is the other vehicle. So what's the hold up, Ben? Let's get going, buddy. I understand Ben may have had some concerns that there would be another vehicle behind the bus, but the bus is so large and so slow that it does give us a slight opportunity to go there. And that has been marked down as a minor driver fault for undue hesitation. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Graham Park Way. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Huge contrast between two roundabouts. We're starting to call these twin roundabouts. Lots of people call them double roundabouts, but please write down in the comments if you think twin roundabout sounds better. The second roundabout there, as you can see, open. Open means good visibility. Ben check the right, no vehicles at all, and he just cruises through the roundabout with confidence. This shows a nice, good, aware driver and planning early, and no hesitation there whatsoever. Again, if you think I'm being too harsh, shut me down in the comments. I really hope that you've gained some value from this video, and if you have, please don't forget to leave a like, as you know the algorithm loves it, which will help a lot more people see a video like this, hopefully help them to pass the driving test first time. Now, on a side note, while we're talking about comments earlier, would you mind leaving a comment down below letting me know how you're getting on with your driving lessons, as I feel there's a lot of people struggling to find the right instructor, and I'd like to make a new series about this topic and other topics, which I'll be kind of broadcasting through the new videos from now on. So if you wouldn't mind, give me some feedback, let me know how you're getting on with your driving lessons, and if there's any help or any questions that you have, please do put them down in the comments below. Thanks. Okay, so we are getting quite close to our destination now, so we're almost finished. The sat nav will give you direction. Um, there is a big sign for the test centre that says Belfont Park. That's a good landmark to know where the entrance is to the test centre. So as we get closer, I may point that out and the sat nav will give you direction also. Okay, thank you. After 300 yards, turn left 
Heritage Avenue, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Boulevard Drive. So you may see by the blue car the big sign saying Belfort Park and it's this next road on the left please. Turn left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Boulevard Drive. And if you just follow Gloria, please, she'll take you home. Here we have a few challenges. One, we have a very small priority sign here on the left, hidden in the bush. And secondly, we have the ambulance coming up ahead, which we would have to change direction to go around. So before we change direction, depending what way we're going, we would need to check the mirrors accordingly. Here we'd need an interior and right mirror check, where Ben checks his interior and left mirror. We would like to check the right side to make sure it's safe before changing direction to the right. Aviation Drive, then you have reached your destination. So it's not a roundabout, but I'd still like you to turn left, please. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then you have reached your destination. Just continue to f ah turn left today. It's Sunday. Turn left, please. Thank you. So we're actually going to finish at the test centre where you would finish. Nice. Any bay here on the left, just go in. It doesn't have to finish between the lines. Oh, so okay. just all we're doing is getting off the road here, and uh, we'll just stop. This is the end of your mock test again, Ben. <laughs> How do you feel it went? I think it went pretty well. I don't, I don't recall any major mistakes. I think a few roundabouts that were a bit um, like not didn't go as smooth as uh, expected. But yes, um, I think overall I feel pretty confident. Nice. Would you like to hear the results? Absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations. You passed. Amazing. Um, there are a few marks for what mm -hmm. you mentioned. Okay. So uh, we might as well just briefly cover that. So I put three um, driver faults, so congratulations to you for passing, um, for undue hesitation. Mm, yep. So one example was the double roundabouts. You remember we had two, we followed the signs of Mill Hill. Yep. As you completed the first roundabout, which was excellent, and you went into the second roundabout, very nice positioning by the way, good mirrors, good signals. You reached the second roundabout and there wasn't any traffic on the right. Yep. You didn't really stop. But you went very slow, kept going. So it's not a big deal. There was cars behind you, but you didn't stop. You just mm -hmm. slowly. I just want to see you make a little bit of progress if you can see it's okay. open. Um, there was a few other roundabouts like that. So the last roundabout, as an example, as you came in, there were cars on your right, and they were both going straight, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And you waited until they both went straight, and then waited a little bit longer. Yeah, and then th went, this so... was intentional. I think I didn't. I wanted to make sure no car was gonna like all of a sudden yeah. move, even though it was very 
unlikely. But Does yeah. it make sense? Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Makes okay. Sense. All right. And um, just as you did that roundabout afterwards, when you went round, I got a different driver thought here. Um, so there's free fund juice. So it will be on the video for the people watching. And the uh, last driver thought here was change of direction. So the mirror before you change direction. So you had a white vehicle coming towards you. It did stop for you. It's quite far away. You did notice that. So you started to move back out around the part of the vehicle. Oh, I see. You did check your right mirror. It was after you'd actually moved out and over yeah. to the yeah. right. So that was it really. Otherwise, all round excellent. So in total, four driver faults. A lot of people refer to them as a minor driver fault. No major driver faults as in a serious or dangerous driver fault. You have passed your driving test. That's a very low mark as well. Amazing. All the cameras seem to be switching off now. <laughs> so that will be the end of your mock test. Is there anything you want to add? Um, you've never driven before from you from Paris originally, from Paris, yeah. so you never I've driven three there. months ago, no first time. Yeah, yeah. And you did a little bit on bicycles, I yes. think, and that yeah, was yeah. it. I've really. been using bicycles for quite a while. Yeah. So in three months, this is your progress to up until now. Yeah, correct. Cool. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. All right. Um, I've been Scott. This has been Ben. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Check out the TikTok. Two day pass. Check out the YouTube. Do they pass? Check out the Instagram. Do they pass? All right. Stay safe. Stay tuned. See you next time. Bye. Hello, Ben. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you, Scott. So, you just passed your real driving test. That's right. Along with your mock driving test. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Very happy. Good. Now, it's not going to be only my wife driving. All right. <laughs> so, you're going to share the loads now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a real relationship, yeah. <laughs> Um, how did you find the test real quick? It wasn't too hard in the sense that I didn't get big uh, roundabouts. Uh, the roads were very busy, so I think very intentionally the instructor chose, um, the examiner chose something that was very residential. Okay. Um, but I've, I haven't practiced these specific routes. Um, so a few things were a bit new, but it wasn't too hard. Um, yeah, I got away with five minors. I think one of them, um, she asked me to stop and I hit the curb slightly. Okay. Um, so that was one of it. I oversteered and understeered um, a little bit uh, at some roundabouts uh, because I didn't exactly know the curb. I didn't really practice from that angle. Um, but everything else, I think, you know, I really focused on the mirrors observations. Um, everything that we practiced and, uh, yeah, went really, went really well.